So with this particular static build you're about to see, I wanted to keep the recoil nice and low like I did in my last build, but this time I wanted to still speed it up a bit. It's a very good movement and aggressive style of SMG with the right attachment also has very limited recoil. So let's call this versatility. If you want to, it's going to be very good at close range, obviously. And with the limited recoil, it's also a pretty decent medium range option simply because it's very easy to hit those shots. For my first attachment here, the Salvo 580 Heavy Stock. This is gonna slow down a bit of your mobility, but it's a massive amount of recoil control gained here at 15% to all of those categories. So the sprint to fire speed is the biggest hit at 11%, but as you can see, it's still very above average at 98 milliseconds. So truthfully, it's nothing really that you notice in game, in my opinion. You still fly around the map, you get to be very aggressive while controlling a lot of recoil. My next attachment is an ammunition type, and I'm just going with the overpressured rounds. I truthfully didn't know what to run here for a fifth attachment, and the overpressure rounds just kind of fit the build, in my opinion, has zero cons to running it while also giving a large target flinch, meaning if you're going up against a sniper or something, they're going to flinch to the sky, making it even easier to get that kill. For my underbarrel to speed up our mobility now is the DR6 hand stop. We're getting a large amount to aim down sight, aim walking speed, sprint to fire speed and movement. The big one being ADS at 10%, and the second I would definitely claim is the sprint to fire at 7%, but you are also getting some smaller values towards your ADS movement, crouch, and overall movement speed. For the muzzle, the quartermaster suppressor, I'm not gonna get too deep into this. It's a ton of recoil control at the sacrifice of a little bit of handling. The best muzzle in the game, we get to stay off of the mini map while also Obviously, it's just the best muzzle in the game. In our final attachment here is the Augur 840 Light Barrel. So because we have the muzzle and that stock, we can sacrifice a bit of recoil, in my opinion. And that's what this barrel does. It's going to speed up your mobility even further via aim down sight and sprint to fire speed. So we are sacrificing 10% to gun kick and recoil control, but we gained an absolute ton with the stock and muzzle. So nothing really too noticeable, in my opinion. And we're gaining a ton in the forms of mobility and handling. I really chose this because, again, it increases the ADS and sprint to fire, but you can't see on the screen there, your mobility is also increased. We've made up for everything that we lost from the stock. So when this weapon first came out, I got a lot of comments from people saying this wasn't like a meta close range SMG. And over the season, as it's gone on, I think people's opinions have definitely changed. I called it right from the beginning, simply due to the mobility factor of the weapon. I knew it was gonna be an absolute meta here in Modern Warfare 3. I'm curious to see if they end up nerfing this in some kind of way over in season six. I hope they don't because it's one of my most used weapons. And as always, here's the rest of the loadout on the screen that you guys can copy down if you want. Make sure you guys are hitting the like and subscribe button for me. Let's jump into today's gameplay. Hope you guys enjoy. So we're going with the Static HV again. I wanted to make sure I covered this before season six comes out because the last build I posted was like a zero recoil build. And this one is more of the same, very similar in that sense. But I would say it's got a little bit of a more versatility take on it because, well, that right there is your example. If there wasn't another guy there, I probably would have fared out a little better, but eh, we, we live and we learn. It's a good, aggressive weapon here. That's the long story short of things. You ain't sneaking away. It's a good, aggressive weapon while having very little recoil. Let's hit this jump. I'm unsure if they're gonna be across over here. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't sound like over here, so I guess we're just gonna headbutt it. Okay, well that worked out better than I thought. That's three. Headbutting kind of worked. Another guy up here. Headbutting, it seems to be working. Loading fresh mag. UAV is being fuel. RTP at this time. Don't cut me out. There we go. Hmm. Huh. Changing mags. It's playing out a little odd so far. I'll be the first to say it. Because they're super aggressive on the objective in certain circumstances. But then in circumstances like this, nowhere to be found. I don't know. Oh, I hit that nade. Oh, that was nice. I'll take that. Sure. Okay. Advanced UAV. Let's get it in. 
Are they going to be up top? I don't... Yes, they are. All right. I want to push this so bad, but I know it's going to happen if I do. Come on. Come on. Okay. Done waiting. I waited too long. Burned a lot of my advanced UAV there. All right, I'm not taking that. That's just not bueno. I'd rather watch a different angle than risk that. That's a 28, so I need two kills. I should be able to sneak behind him here, and I should be able to pick him up, but I got to be quick. I think this guy's up top. Okay. That's only 35 kills. This game is uh, going rather quickly. So what I've been doing lately, obviously, is the second game plays with the TDM. And I think I'm going to do that again here. Yeah, I'm going to try to be as aggressive as I possibly can here while I have time left, but I don't know how many kills I'm going to end up blocking up. We're only at 39 right now. I'm going to aim for like 50. Same guy just smoked me. That's a choke on my end. But I want 50. I got to get on my horse here. Okay. It may not happen. 50 may not happen. But we're definitely going for a second gameplay here. No, without a doubt. It appears they are playing a little closer to the objective right now. Well, now they're not, but they were. Gonna be a big F and a maybe, but Good contact. Hmm. Well, we're gonna MGB it. Requesting MGB. I fifty, I'm gonna have to get two more. I at least got 50, man. We're going to definitely jump into a second game. That was super quick. One of the faster games I've played in a long time, but still locked in the MGB. So nonetheless, it was pretty good. Let's jump into game number two. Game number two here with the static we're over on Favela. It's been a while since I've had this map even show up in my rotation. It hasn't shown up in Hardpoint in as long as I can remember. So playing it in TDM, I guess we'll have to suffice. Oh, I'm gonna die. There ain't no way I'm coming out of this alive. They did kill. Wait, one more. Got him. Okay. That was a sketchy start. But we somehow managed to come alive out of that because the team was on top of it, you know? We all pushed together. We made it work. We saw a guy here. We'll chase this guy down. Hopefully we can catch up to him. I'm getting close to some streaks here. I'm on a 10. And just like that, they left the game. Yeah, that's out of this weapons range. Ain't no way I'm planning on taking that one. And Oh, God. Okay. Well, we're going to abandon that idea. All right. We got a VTOL. We need people to load in before I do anything. 
I want to keep my pace high, but there's going to be a lot of cuts here. Like, I don't even want to hit this advanced UAV until I'm sure. So I'm going to hit it. All right, cruising. That is a 15, I believe. All back here. Hold on. I'm debating if I want to hit this VTOL or not. We do have a pretty decent. So I'm just going to hit it. Screw it. There was a guy in here. Don't know if he still is. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Reload. UAV's in. All right. I'm going to dip from here. Favela TDM is interesting. The spawns seem to like flip instantly it feels like you're always chasing them down like the kills don't just come to you you have to find a way to get to them if that makes sense well this guy was not upstairs like i was thinking that guy is hi All right, I'll take an MGB. Nothing to complain about there. Could go for a second VTOL. Nope. Okay, I thought that was the MGB. Holy. I thought for a second I was hitting that MGB super, super early. That would have been an L. How are they getting UAVs, huh? Somebody on my team's feeding them UAVs. Teammate. Oh, teammate saved me. Love you. I'm running low on that ammunition again, but this game's winding down. Goodness, where's that been all game? Homie just hit me with the quick scope of a century. God damn. There's three of them left, so I may just chalk it up now. Hit the MGB because I feel like it's going to be a waste of time just sit here and chase down three people. We'll see. I'm going to MGB it now just because I mean at this point I'm just kind of bored. Case of three people, not very uh not very vibey. You know, it kind of takes the pace away, of course. Now there's only like two, so that's gonna be it. Well, I mean I was able to get one more kill in there. Got 61 kills in a TDM. Rage quitters, what can I say?